A forward opening door separates the cockpit from the cabin. It is bulletproof and fully compliant with rapid decompression requirements. In normal conditions, when the door is closed, the electric locking strikes remain locked. A mechanical override enables the pilots to open the door from the cockpit side. An escape panel enables the flight crew to evacuate the cockpit in case of an emergency when the door is jammed or stuck. This panel can only be removed from the cockpit side by pulling the quick release pins toward the center of the flap and kicking the panel open. The cockpit door locking system CDLS electrically locks and unlocks the cockpit door. This system is mainly composed of a keypad located in the forward cabin near the cockpit door. A cockpit door toggle switch installed on the center pedestal. A control unit and its cockpit door control panel installed on the left-hand side of the overhead panel. And an access request buzzer. Note. Depending on the version, an additional and identical control unit with its control panel can be installed on the right-hand side of the overhead panel. Also a cockpit door backup panel will allow the normal or the backup locking system to be activated. Also, this related installed panel location may differ with your cockpit panel configuration. Each cockpit door control unit is in charge of locking or unlocking the door locking strikes upon flight crew action. Unlocking the door in case of cockpit decompression and activating the access request buzzer. Each cockpit door control panel has two pressure sensors enabling rapid pressure variation to be detected. Pressure sensor failure indications and electrical locking strike failure indications. Note The normal indication for these failure indications is light off. The toggle switch enables the flight crew to lock or unlock the cockpit door following an access request. When the door is not locked or not closed, the open light is on. When the cabin crew has initiated an emergency access request, the open light flashes, waiting for a pilot action. If there is no pilot reaction, after few seconds, the door unlocks automatically. In case of pressure sensor or electrical strike or control unit failure, the fault light is triggered. The pilot should refer to the QRH in order to apply the related procedure. If the normal control unit has failed, the CDLS can be switched to the backup control unit. For that, the additional locking system switch must be used, as shown. When it is on backup position, the fault light on the normal control panel goes off, and the keypad is inoperative. So, the emergency access is also lost. In this condition, the cabin crew has to use the interphone to perform any cockpit access request. The flight crew has to use the control push button to unlock the door. The keypad enables the cabin crew to request access to the cockpit. There are routine and emergency access. Please, click on the video. The cockpit door has a spy hole for a visual check from the cockpit of a person stayed just behind the door. But, if installed, a cockpit door surveillance system CDSS allows also the flight crew to identify a person in front of the cockpit door and in addition to survey the hidden cross section in the forward doors area. It is composed of 
three black and white video cameras, an LCD screen, one video push button installed on the pedestal cockpit door panel, and one cockpit door video push button switch installed on the overhead cockpit door backup panel. This push button switch allows to manually deactivate the CDSS. The LCD screen is mounted on the rear cockpit wall to display the view from the three cameras. Pictures from camera 1 are shown on full screen, and pictures from camera 2 and 3 are shown on split screens. Note. If entrance to the cockpit is requested via the keypad, the CDSS automatically activates from power safe mode to camera 1. Pressing the video push button allows when the screen is blanked to display the camera 1 picture, when the camera 1 picture is on to display the camera 2 and 3 pictures and when the camera 2 and 3 pictures are on, to return to camera 1 picture. Note, if no action has been taken for 5 minutes, the screen goes blank, in power safe mode. The A320 has 4 cabin doors, 1 forward and 1 aft on each side. The left forward door is normally used for passenger boarding. Each door is equipped with an escape slide. There are four overwing emergency exits, two on each side of the aircraft. An overwing escape slide is provided on each side of the aircraft. Each one is stowed in a compartment at the wing route. The A320 has three cargo doors, one forward, one aft on the right side of the aircraft to access the cargo compartments, and a bulk cargo door located at the rear bottom right side of the fuselage, providing access to the bulk cargo compartment. There are four small doors below the front of the fuselage to give access to the avionics compartment. The pilots can monitor the status of all the doors as well as the escape slides using the ECAM door oxygen page. The door symbology is the same regardless of its type. The symbol is green when the door is closed and locked as shown by the right forward cabin door in the example. The symbol is full amber when the door is opened, as shown by the left forward cabin door, in the example. Watch how the cabin door slides are, armed. The slide labels appear in white, beside their related doors, indicating that the associated slides, are armed. Doors are closed and locked, all the slides are, armed. Note. The wing escape slide labels are always displayed as they are always armed. There are two cockpit sliding windows, one on each side, providing emergency exits from the cockpit. The cockpit sliding windows are controlled by the window control handle. We will look at a video clip to demonstrate the opening and closing. During the preliminary cockpit preparation, you check that the escape ropes are properly stowed above and behind each sliding window. The ropes are long enough to be thrown out through the cockpit sliding window and used for escape. You will learn in detail how to operate the cabin doors and their slides in the cabin chapter. However, we will take this opportunity to look at a video clip to demonstrate the opening and closing of a cabin door and the arming of a slide. Here, as an example, the right forward cabin door 